Hello everyone. So the next tool that we are here discussing here is the clone stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool. So let me take explain you within a simple example here. Assuming that I'm taking this picture, I have already explained you this picture before how uh, we have created this kind of photos. Now go to your right hand side. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So go to your right hand side. After your brush tool, there's a, another tool that is called as pattern stamp tool and there's a called as clone stamp tool. So if you see here, there are two tools. One is clone stamp tool and second was a pattern stamp tool. So I'll just click on the clone stamp tool. Now this clone stamp tool works with a brush. So if you go up here, you can see there are various brushes available. You can choose a hard brush. You can choose a soft brush, whatever you like, according to your preference, you can choose the kind of brush that you like. Now, assuming I'm just taking this brush, which is soft round pressure opacity brush, I'll just select this brush. And now I'll select the size of my brush. I can create a smaller size. I can take a larger size. So if I have to clone a very large image, then I'll take a larger size brush. So I'll just assuming that I'm taking a brush, which is of size 250 pixels. So it is 250 pixels. Okay. Now, whatever I want to clone, I'll go to that area. And I'll press option button on my Mac keyboard, or you can press alt button on your windows. So assuming I want to clone myself, I'll press a options or alt button on windows. And this kind of pop-up will come up and accordingly, I'll just click on that part, just a single click on that part where I want to clone. And I got this area selected. Now, wherever I want to clone myself, I just go to that area and I'll do the same. So I can just click and now, without holding the click you can just scroll down everything else will follow everything here will come up accordingly whatever amount of area i want i can just clone that kind that amount of area in this area very easily now this as you can see this brush is a very good brush uh, if you want to clone clone something and this is a very amazing brush as you can see we can do amazing kind of work with this clone stamp tool and I can just clone myself with this clone stamps tool so easily. So obviously uh, this is such an amazing brush that is such an amazing software Photoshop. You can create different kind of patterns with this uh, tool. You can repeat yourself anywhere you like. Now there's another tool here. If you go to this clone stamp tool on second option here is a pattern stamp tool. Now this pattern stamp tool is used to create patterns. Over here, you can just select the pattern stamp tool and this also works with your brushes. I can select a soft brush. I can select a hard brush. Assuming I just select a soft brush here and I'm assuming I'm making the size of this brush as 54. Okay. Now I'll go to this tab and I'll select a pattern that I want to create. So for example, I want to create this pattern. I'll just click on this pattern and I'll select this pattern. And now I can click anywhere in the screen. Now this kind of pattern will repeat. I can just drag and drop this thing and this kind of pattern will I can create this kind of pattern anywhere I like on my picture. So you can use this pattern stamp tool as well as you can use this clone stamp tool to create amazing pattern on your uh, uh, on, on your images as well as you can create amazing uh, clones of yourself in your images. So you can use these two tools to create patterns as well as to create clones. Okay. Now the next tool here is your art history brush tool in the next video we'll see what is the art history brush tool